Good day everybody, welcome to another episode on my channel. First of all, shout out to Rabbit for lending me his account to make this review possible. And the person we're reviewing today is Tara Me. <laughs> man, seriously though, <laughs> who upgrades this card, man? <laughs> man, let's stop playing. Today we're actually reviewing Homare Sava. It's currently, at the time of recording this video, is almost 1.2 million on the market. The Japanese midfielder is 5 foot 5 in height, high high in work rates, and 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. On the starting formation, this card can play as a center mid or as a cam. Getting to the stats detail, she's really impressive all over the board. Pace as a midfielder is pretty good, and that shooting? Paired with 93 composure, I'm not expecting her to miss much when she's got the chance to shoot. Her passing and dribbling are elite tier. She's got a bit of defending to her as well, but her physical? Hmm, we'll see about that. 92 stamina is amazing though. And when it comes to playstyles, she's got several good ones actually. Precision pass and long ball are the two best passing playstyles. She's got first touch, should be good, press proven is decent, quick step is actually a big one and she's got gold relentless. With 92 stamina she's gonna be able to run 120 minutes no problem, which is actually amazing for a midfielder. Now I'm gonna play a couple of games with her in Division Rivals, Division 3, and I'm planning to use her as a central attacking midfielder in a 4-2-3-1 and as a box-to-box -box midfielder in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Let's jump onto the gameplay. Okay, for a first game, she's got a challenge. Blanc and Kunde with that midfield. Ooh. So as I was switching the formation to a 4-2-3-1 to play Sava as Cam, this guy hits me with a kickoff glitch. We got a rat on our hands, boys. Let's see if we can hit him back with one. And we can, with a perfectly weighted pass from Sava. She doesn't miss those. And this kid? He isn't having any of it. <laughs> Get out of here. Now we move on to the actual game one. He has a solid team. Not as strong as the first one though. Here I try to make something happen with her dribbling and passing. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work out this time. Here we take the ball back and we try to set a quick counter attack. Sava sends a killer through ball to Morgan. Which unfortunately she cannot finish. Then we press, press, press and we get the ball back. And look at the positioning by Sava. Beautiful. Next we're trying to build up slow, just keep the ball and looking for an opening. We do some quick passing, we send it around a little bit, and eventually Sava finds herself in a fantastic position. But as I expected, her physicality lets her down. Nothing much happens after that because this guy scores a lucky goal and then just keeps the ball and passes it in the back so I end up quitting so I can get better footage. And then we face this guy in game 3, who has a very underwhelming team for division 3, but Griezmann and Benzema up top with finesse shot plus, that's a duo to watch out for. Here we see Sava with a great hold up play and amazing contribution of the ball, which ended up getting us a goal. It's a rubbish goal, but we take it. This is where you can find the brilliance in this woman. Omari with an amazing touch turn and a fantastic pass puts us through on goal. But with the combination of Simmons being very bad at finishing his 3 star weak foot and me not having any composure, we miss it. And of course, down the other end, he runs down on the sideline with Benzema, cuts it in, and yeah, we're in trouble. But not a problem because right from kickoff we got Homare Sava with magical moves. And 
and yet again I somehow managed to miss it. Savo's overall passing and dribbling has been really impressive so far, but I just don't feel the movement on her as a cam, so I decide to change up the formation, switch up to 4-1-2-1-2 and use her as an advanced box-to-box -box midfielder. And boy oh boy, that's where she started to shine. Now suddenly she's in a position that I find her way more involved in defensive play, and she's got more space to utilize the passing and dribbling that she has and playing her as a center mid it just felt right and suddenly I realized she's built way better for a CM than a cam I could just control the tempo of the game with her, pass it around, dribble a little bit I find myself in better spaces her versatility is a big part of her game like if you need to change formations in the middle of the game, she can play as a left or right midfielder, as a CDM, CM, CAM, even left back and right back. And that's what makes her so good. She's one of those players that you can play anywhere. And she's just capable of pulling off amazing stuff. I mean, check this goal out. On our final game, I decided to just force it a little bit to her because, because so far I was just playing naturally the way I normally would and I wanted just to push her down to her limits, see what she's really capable of. And she was pulling up dribbles, passing was amazing, the build up play was fantastic. And every now and then she just made this crazy run that was unmarked every single time. The more I played with her, the more I was impressed by the capabilities of her. And let's just say that she wasn't one of those players to go unnoticed in a squad. My final thoughts on Sava, she is actually a little beast in the midfield, I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's a 1.2 million coin card, of course she is good. I absolutely enjoyed using her as a center mid. I just think as a cam, she just doesn't have the intelligent AI runs, but as a center mid, she's so, so good. I could compare her to cards like Aitana Bonmati and Alexia Puteas. I mean, she was better than them in some aspects. But overall, all of these cards add the same kind of quality in your squad. So for value for coins, I'd say she's a little bit expensive. But if you end up packing her along the way this year, you've got a beast on your hands. Oh, and trust me, you're gonna enjoy her. It's a very enjoyable card to play with. And that's the end of this review, boys. Again, shout out to Rabbit for letting me use his account. See you on the next video, guys. Cheers.